Thanks guys. This week's concept for Beat on the Street is dealing with UF Mythbusters. This is going to be a segment revolved around the myth and legends of the hauntings at Norman Hall. We're here in Turlington right now to get some insights from students and see what they think about these spooky stories. Now, to start off with the first question, do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly. No. 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 I believe in ghosts. There's things going on that I don't see. Just because we, we have eyes, we don't see them, that mean they're not there. Have you ever heard about the hauntings that have taken place at Norman Hall here on campus? Yes, I'm actually an education major, so I get to spend a lot of time over there. It's kind of creepy going up on the third floor, not going to lie. I heard a little bit about it from a friend in the, in the uh, College of Education, but even they say it's a little ridiculous. Okay, well it was actually said that um, Norman Hall was the old P.K. Young Elementary School that was built in 1932. The cot legend, yeah. it's the old nurse's office that's by the girls' room on the third floor. And it's said that every night the bed is made, but when they come back in the morning, the room is locked, nobody has access to it, and the bed is unmade. It's said that the nurse haunts that room still. Would you ever be interested in going to check out Norman Hall after hearing these stories? I'd say... If I did, I'd have to bring my boys out from Talib Slim Fi and we'll investigate and take out some ghosts. Right now I'm here in front of Norman Hall reporting and I'm here with our host, Kelvin Ramirez and Bobby Desmond and we're getting ready to do a paranormal investigation. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, I'm ready no. to go to the haunted Norman Hall and see if we can contact some spirits. The unhaunted Norman Hall because there's no such thing as ghosts, but I'm here. It looks like we got some conflicting views, but hopefully we'll see what happens after this. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Let's go. All right. We've actually brought with us a Ouija board. Um, we're going to try and get in contact with some spirits. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a little bit creeped out, I'll be honest. Are you ready for this, Calvin? Just a little, Bobby. Well, let's see. <laughs> All right. Is there a presence with us today? Oh my god, there's someone here with us. Oh my god. Okay. Who are you? What's your name? <laughs> oh my god. And you are N U R S E Nurse. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Hello, have you guys ever seen spirits or ghosts in Norman Hall? This is John, our friend that we just met in Norman Hall. He's heard of some spirits. Can you tell us about the spirits that you've heard of in Norman Hall? Yeah, I haven't actually heard the stories firsthand, but I have talked to security guard that has heard the stories, and he said there's a, been a couple officers on record to report the stories. I've been coming here now for a year and a half, and I will tell you it does get spooky late at night, and there's some weird, uh, some weird vibes going on inside Norman Hall. I asked it, are you an evil spirit? Because we might as well go hard. So. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Oh my god, it's an evil spirit. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> Nurse, why are you still here? R E V E N. Great. Oh my god. Tell me what the last letter is. Tell me what the last letter is. <laughs> I think we're done with the Ouija board. Um, have a good night. It was very nice meeting you. Uh, stay safe <laughs> while you're studying. Um. So now that we're done with our paranormal investigation here at Norman Hall, what do you guys think? What, how do you feel? I think there's definitely a lot of people who said they've seen stuff, so you can't discredit it at all. I still don't believe it. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm Brianna McAuliffe here reporting from Haunted Norman for the Bite. Back to you guys.